Next one, and there were multiple people that asked this question, and it came in a couple of different lights. So this is sort of the through line of the questions. But the core of it was, can you block IP traffic by country of origin? And there was really sort of a tangent of this is not only can you, but should you? And then if so, what's sort of the most efficient or effective way to do this? Yeah, uh, we were actually talking about this a little bit before we started here. And, uh, you know, um, yeah, a lot of modern firewalls have uh, a pretty simple GUI. You can literally go through and pick the countries that you don't like and and, and block them. Um, it, the, the thing is, though, that, that you have to realize that uh, those lists are not completely accurate. And of course the internet is the internet and the folks, you know, who are in country a can proxy through country B, uh, and, or invite, you know, and so forth and so on. So it's a little bit uh, of something, you know, it's, it's, you know, if you're doing defense in depth, this is, you know, the 16th thing you can do. Sure. Great. But it's not really security and you can't be like, okay, I blocked country X no, no hacker from country X will ever, you know, harass my country, you know, my company ever again. That's, that's not really the case. Yeah. The, the other thing I'll add to that is, um, the, the account, the list mechanisms that are used for figuring out which IPs go to which countries, um, are all self-reported. Um, it's not like there's some hierarchical group that's tracking where IPs are used. It's uh, the owner of a subnet has reported to a bunch of companies that this IP address is being used in this country. Um, you can actually see this a lot uh, just within the United States of GOIP your home internet connection. Um, as, uh, I, as your home service provider moves IPs around within their network, um, I, based in Philadelphia, have seen my IP come up from New York City, Chicago, uh, Atlanta, because that is a lot of data that has to be updated and propagated around. Um, so as Chris said, it, it, it's a great 16th layer. Um, it's a decent deterrent. It is not a be-all, end-all, and it is not perfect. 